Happy early holidays from Savannah the Elf here at the North Pole with a big announcement. This holiday season, I'm sure you're planning a big Christmas list for Santa, and you're probably going to get a lot that's on your list. But believe it or not, some little kiddos don't get anything that's on their lists. But fear not, Santa has a plan. Old St. Nick has recruited me to enlist all of DSA as Santa's helpers. We are collecting stocking stuffers to fill 60 stockings full of goodies. Where does your part come in? All you have to do is bring in small toys. You can bring in things like Hot Wheels, Barbies, coloring books and crayons, bubbles, balls, and candy. There will also be a tub for food collection for Hope. Don't forget to keep on bringing in your canned goods and non-perishable foods. I'm sure you'll be on the nice list if you bring in lots of toys and food. There will be more updates on Santa stocking stuffers later. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me or Kaylee Rocco the Elf. Oh, it looks like I'm getting a call from the boss now. Yes, sir? Yes, of course. Yes, sir, I'll let them know. This just in, the big guy wanted me to let you know to make sure you're not getting any marks on your AAA and arts cards. The naughty list is not a place for DSA students. Oh, here's a text from Sandy. Oh, he sends a big we love you from everyone at the North Pole. Well, happy holidays and have a very merry day. Happy fall, DSA. <laughs> fall happens to be one of my very favorite seasons. But something's missing. Hmm. I know. What's my favorite season without my favorite fall tree? Don't mind me. In fact, while I start preparing this delicious pumpkin pie, let's roll on over to Monique with why the leaves change in the fall. Oh. Thanks, Monique. I'm kind of a mess right now. Let's hand this over to Daisy while I clean up this mess. Oh, hey. Let's see what's next. All right, I've done that and that and that. So now I have to tell them about Sleepy Hollow? Oh, that's right. Come see me in Sleepy Hollow the Musical at Theater Winter Haven from October 31st through November 1st. Go to www.theaterwinterhaven.com for more information. And if you're really up for a fright, come on Halloween for special treats and games. But that's enough of that. I gotta get back to this pie. Next on the recipe is Alondra making pumpkin pie. Wait, I made a pumpkin pie. Wait, wait what? Thanks, Alondra. I personally think my pumpkin pie is better, but it's whatever. Anyways, thanks for watching. Space Night is taking off on Thursday, January 21st at 6 p.m., and we have a lot to do before you take off back to Earth at 8 o'clock. First, you will participate in one of your two hands-on, family-friendly workshops of the night. Next, let's see what's on the launch menu. Hot dogs, chips, and soda for just $3. From 6.30 to 7.10, you will chow down on the best food this planet has to offer. And the space door will be open with out-of-this-world offers. Don Thomas's book, Orbit of Discovery, will be on sale for $25, a picture of Don Thomas and Space Shuttle for $2, and try out our new microgravity photo booth for just $2. A percentage of each purchase will go towards the Space Camp Scholarship Fund to send the winners of the scholarships to camp in Huntsville, Alabama. Last, from 7.15 to 7.45, you will participate in your second activity of the night. A few interesting workshops that you can sign up for include the middle school only activity in which you build and race lunar rovers. We will also have a special STEAM guest speaker, Mr. John Isker from the Sun and Fun Florida Air Museum. He will have equipment in which you are able to see sound waves. Sounds like a blast, literally. If you would like to be an astronaut for a night, make sure you turn in the filled out paper you received to Mrs. Katz. The deadline for these papers is January 15. Feel free to bring any family members or friends who would enjoy this fun-filled night. All right, DSA, my rocket is waiting. But remember, we love you to the moon and back. Today, February 29th, 2016, is a leap day. So what exactly is a leap day? A leap day occurs every four years on February 29th. 
The Earth orbits the Sun in a little bit more than 365 days. So it makes sense, instead of adding one fourth of a day each year, we add a full day every four years. This extra day is added to the end of February. February usually has 28 days, but this year it will have 29. So instead of 365 days this year, we will have 366. So what about the people born on February 29th? They would only have a birthday three out of four years. These people usually celebrate their birthdays on February 28th or March 1st, since technically they don't have a birthday except during leap years. These people are called leaplings. The chance of being born on a leap day is 1 in 1,461. About 4 million people out of 7.125 billion are born on a leap day. Chances are you were born on a regular old day. In the United States, presidential elections and Olympic Games are held in a leap year. Leapfrog is a great leap day activity. The largest game of leapfrog ever played had 1,748 participants for nine minutes straight. Leap days are often associated with frogs because, you know, they leap. Tomorrow we will leap right into March 1st. Remember to be on your best behavior in this new month. Happy Leap Day, everyone! We love you! Spring has almost sprung, DSA. In order to kick off the festivities, today we will be making spring-themed cookies. Fun fact, Americans consume more than 16 million jelly beans during the spring holiday. That's enough jelly beans to circle the globe three times. For this recipe, you will need Pillsbury sugar cookie dough, frosting, pink food coloring, mini marshmallows, jelly beans, and assorted Easter candy. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Take one third of your cookies and cut them into even pieces. Roll out the smaller pieces into a ball form. Place all of your cookies onto an ungreased cookie sheet. It'll be tight, but I tried to fit all of them. Bake the cookies for eight to 12 minutes. Once they're done, cool for 15 minutes. This step is very important if you want the icing to be applied properly. Stir frosting in one to three drops of pink food coloring in a microwavable bowl for 10 to 15 seconds. Now comes the fun part. Frost the cookies with the pink or white frosting. Decorate the bunny feet with the assorted candy and place them on the larger cookies. And to top it off, add the mini marshmallow to the center of the cookie for the tail. Now that I've shown you the ropes on how to make these cookies, you can try it out for yourself. For further reference, you can find the recipe on Pillsbury.com.